all right um good day guys dsmedia24.com is bringing you yet another exciting tutorial on how you could actually fix your blueberry q1 stock on blueberry logo probably after flashing of wrong firmware or after software upgrade it can no longer boot it stops at blueberry logo and if for any reason you might have flashed your blueberry q1 with a wrong firmware probably from a different version because the autoloaders of blueberry key one comes in different versions where you could see the bbb 100 minus 1 bbb 100 minus 2 bbb 100 all all of that like that like that like that so it's advisable you know the right version of your blueberry key one before flashing as to avoid breaking of your device and then um, still know that indirectly this phones can still break because um if it is not the right boot it can go in so what will happen is it could actually go on a i'll call it um dead boot mode like it stays dead for sometimes um just give it about 30 minutes or thereabouts that should actually fix that after 30 minutes combine the volume up the power for some time that should take you back to fast boot mode where you could actually revive your blackberry with the right firmware and then um, this blackberry is blackberry k1 so you're going to be downloading the right firmware for it but before then you're going to be putting the phone in fast boot mode by using the volume down and power key just combine both of them for some time all right there you go fast boot mode that's the mode at which you could actually reload your library key one and then um, you could actually head over to dsmedia24.com so you'll be downloading the right auto loader for your blackberry key one and then for the sake of this tutorial it's gonna be it's gonna be free auto loaders so use the commenting system to drop your comments about the auto loader of your phone if you can't find on the site so we can update and then um, i will strongly recommend using the aaa 819 auto loader a h1 auto loader as at may 2018 has the security patch so for some users who would um, encounter their blabberry stock on the blabberry logo probably because of a downgrade or something the aa1 y819 should actually fix that for you so you use the download link to download all right I recommend you download this and then um, that's the guide on how you could actually flash the phone well so you know the library key one or the loader file you could see two files inside the flash all the bat here or uh, the flash no wipe dot pad the flash no wipe dot pad will actually retain all your information so you're doing this you probably you want to go for an upgrade or if you want to keep all your information safe and then um, the flash 
all right sorry i said the flash all the bat okay the flash all the bat or uh, the flash no wipe the bat yeah or the flash no wipe the bat will retain your data you're using it if you probably going for an update or if you want to keep all your information safe while the flash all dot part will erase your blackberry and return it to factory settings you're doing this if probably you would want to return the blackberry to factory setting probably you had a password and you forgot the password okay let's get over it yeah this is the file we already downloaded it 1.94 gig okay So that is it. For the sake of this tutorial, I will be using the flash all no wipe dot parts. So double click on it. Double click on it. So it says please switch to fast boot mode. Blah blah. Already on fast boot mode. You see, this script will not wipe all of your data. Do you want to continue? So you type Y on the keyboard. As the right there, then you click on enter from your keyboard. Click on enter, and so that is it. It says no wipe. The script is running. Do not forget if you would want to remove password or pattern pin whatsoever thing you set probably because you forgot then you're going to be using the flash all the bat this should maintain the phone's information the flash on no wipe should maintain the phone's information and data intact so i'm using this for the sake of this time but in case it is the password or something and you're going to be using the flash on the part so you allow it to do its thing after that the phone should reboot and boot on normal
okay almost done and there you go the bladder key one reboot so you allow it to boot up give it some time but in case it still stocks here be sure you've waited long enough then you could simply press the power for some time to reboot it all right thanks guys for watching